Aloha, this is Heidi at EasyPeasy. Peasy. I'm going to show you some types of cloth diapers that work well when you're practicing elimination communication. If you're new to the concept, EC is a gentle method of allowing a baby opportunities to use the potty. So when choosing cloth diapers as backup for EC, some things to think about are, first of all, you want something that's easy to take off and replace multiple times a day because you'll be offering the potty or changing the diaper frequently. Secondly, it's nice to have a system where you can use the absorbent part separately from the waterproof cover for times when you want to closely observe and learn your baby's signals and timing. And thirdly, it doesn't have to be super absorbent if you're going to be changing the diaper after every pee or poop. There are tons of types of cloth diapers on the market these days, so just quickly I'm going to mention a couple that I don't personally recommend for EC. One is an all-in-one where the inter inside absorbent part is sewn to the outer waterproof cover. That's harder to wash, takes longer to dry, and to me it just seems like a waste if there was just a tiny little pee to change this whole thick diaper. Another type is called a pocket diaper, and it's similar to all-in-one. The waterproof cover has a pocket where you stuff absorbent layer into it, and if that pocket diaper gets peed on just once, the entire diaper needs to be changed because the pocket layer will become wet. Often pocket diapers are made so that the baby doesn't feel the wetness, and with EC, we do want the baby to know when they're wet. What I recommend when choosing your cloth diapers is to get an absorbent inner part and a waterproof outer cover. So one of the best options are prefolds. These are examples of prefold diapers from Green Mountain Diapers in different sizes. This purple edge is a preemie size, the orange edge is newborn, and then the yellow edge is a small. So prefold diaper is a rectangle where there's more layers in the middle and fewer layers on the edge. This is kind of one step up from the most basic type of cloth diaper, which is a flat diaper. So you could use a flat diaper as well. It's something like this. Um, this is a newborn half flat, so it's just smaller. And if you were going to use this, you can just fold it in a manner that's called pad folding, so you fold it kind of in a rectangular. It will be thicker this way, though, than a prefold would be. So that's one reason I recommend the prefolds over the flats, so that you can get something thinner. There's also something called flower sack towels, and you would find those in the kitchen section of a store. They're like kitchen drying towels, and you could use that as well. First, the most basic EC backup is to use a diaper belt. So this is a diaper belt. It's basically a piece of elastic covered with soft fabric. This one's organic cotton, but wool is also a great option since it would repel pee. And when you use a diaper belt with a prefold, you want to fold up your prefold diaper into thirds, and then you put the diaper belt around the baby's waist and tuck in the prefold. I'll show you a demonstration with my five month old daughter of what it looks like using a diaper belt and prefold. And she'll be wearing her comfy baby organic cotton underwear in these demo videos just for modesty. So normally she wouldn't have underwear on under her diaper. So this is the diaper belt and prefold combo. First you put the diaper belt on around their waist. And once it's on, you don't need to keep taking it off each time. You can just leave it on. A size small prefold from Green Mountain Diapers. I start by folding that into thirds, so a tri-fold or pad fold. Tuck it up under the diaper belt. And then tuck it under the diaper belt on the back. So you just need to make sure on the front that the diaper belt is high enough up so it won't get pee on it. When it's time to offer the potty, you can just untuck it either from the front or the back, whatever your preference is, offer the potty. If it's still clean, then you just tuck that same one back in under the belt. If it gets peed on it, it's really easy to just pull it out, put it in the dirty, and put a new clean one in. Just like that. Now I'm going to show you G diapers. These are the type of diapers that I used on my son from the time he was born till he was about one year old and we transitioned away from diapers. They're sized diapers, so they come in different sizes. 
I have to show you the tiny little newborn, a size small and a size medium. So the newborn diapers are meant from 6 to 10 pounds, the size small from 8 to 14 pounds, the size medium from 13 to 28 pounds, and they also have size large and size extra large, but we personally never had to use those bigger sizes. This teeny tiny one is a newborn G-diaper. With G-diapers, the tabs come from the front and they Velcro on the back. And since this is for newborn, it has a little snap down rise in the front to allow for the umbilical cord. We didn't get a chance to use these with our baby girl who was born in the springtime because they weren't offering the six pack of just the newborns at the time. I really wish they were. We would have gotten them and they would have been perfect because she was actually a little bit under six pounds when she was born and most of the cloth diapers we had for her were too big on her at first. So if you think you might have a tiny baby, I'd really recommend getting the newborn ones, or if you're not sure, you could get a pack of newborn and just don't open them and wait and see how big your baby is, and if they're too small, then you could sell the newborn ones. So inside, right now what it has is a disposable insert. G-diapers are considered a hybrid diaper, so you can use it either with a disposable insert or with a cloth insert inside. The great thing about G-diapers is there's no plastic on this, so you can either compost the peed on ones, or for peed or pooped on ones, you rip it open, dump it in the toilet, there's a swish stick to swish it around so it breaks apart, and then you can flush it away. So it's a very eco-friendly type of disposable diaper. I wanted to show you the sizes of pre-folds that you could use. So from Green Mountain Diapers, this is a preemie pre-fold, tri-folded. That could fit inside the newborn G-diaper. G-diapers recommends just using the disposable with the newborn size, but I'm broke using cloth if you can. And then this is a cute little size small. This is one of the older ones I bought it used, so it's from years ago. Size small you can put in a trifold newborn prefold. In there. One thing that I really like about G diapers too is this waterproof nylon pouch. If it happens to get a little bit of poop on it, you can snap it out and you can have just extra pouches. So if just the pouch gets dirty, you can replace it and put in a clean one and still use the outer cotton G-pant another time. So when my son was in the size smalls, we had about seven of them and that was plenty. Um, when he went up to size medium, we actually only needed four because the outer G-pant often was not getting dirty at all. So in the size medium, which I'll show my daughter wearing, you can fit in a size small. Pre-fold. G diapers also offers their own um, cloth inserts that can be used with the G pants. I personally didn't choose them just because they have synthetic material and I like using the organic cotton pre-folds instead. So those were three of the sizes of G diapers. This is a G diaper in size medium. I'm going to be using it with a size small pre-fold from Green Mountain Diapers. So I start by folding the pre-fold into thirds, which is called tri-folding or pad folding. Put the pre-fold into this waterproof pouch. And then to make sure you get the diaper on the right way, the G goes on the bottom. So slide it under her. And that's the opposite of a disposable diaper, the tabs fasten towards the back. So they go from the front and they fasten on the back. There she is in her G diaper. And I really like that the Velcro is easy to use. You can take it off while holding the baby in your arms, set it down somewhere clean. In a public bathroom, I could just hold her an easy hold over the toilet, or if we want to set her on the potty. And then with my son, I was able to get his diaper back on without setting him down. I haven't been using these as much with my daughter, so I'm a little out of practice. I think it would hold baby on my shoulder and then be able to redo the velcro tabs so that's a scenario if you don't have anywhere clean set your baby down like in a public bathroom stall that doesn't have a changing table you can just try to do a mid-air diaper change that's that her g diaper back on. 
Another option, if you really want to use wool, which was high priority for me this time, is a Baby Greens wool diaper cover. This is the newborn size. So this was the only one that fit my daughter from birth, but some people skip the newborn size and go straight to a size small. And it did fit perfectly with a preemie prefold, but these preemie prefolds aren't very absorbent. So it might be better if you use it with the newborn size prefold. It looks a little too long, but once you wrap it up around your baby, I think newborn would just barely fit inside the newborn cover. So like that, if you want to use a wool option. And they have these in other sizes going up and up and up. But for me, I liked this in the beginning when I knew I was always going to be laying my baby down to change her diaper. Like that. Okay, the next option are flapper wraps. These were designed by Born Ready Jen, and they are meant specifically for babies who use the potty. So it's a drop flap design. There's a belt that goes around the baby's waist. And the back of the flap wrap tucks up under it and you flap it down and move it off to the side when offering the potty. And I'll show this on my daughter. Um, this one is a wool one. I would have gotten all wool ones but they were running out of stock when I ordered. So I was able to get this one later used from another mom. Um, this has cotton on the outside and waterproof POL on the inside. This is a quick dry polyester one which is really thin and it is nice to have an option that dries really quickly. And you can roll them up small to put in your diaper bag. So for the flap wraps, they have their own separate type of flap wrap pads that you use inside. They come in two sizes. This is a large flap wrap pad and this is a small flap wrap pad. I do like the largest for overnight or if I'm not sure if I can change your diaper immediately, like for in the car. With the flap wrap pads, it's similar to a flat diaper. It's just a big rectangle fabric. And I was a little confused how to fold these at first. So just to show you real quick, um, there is a video on the Flap Wraps website, the Born Ready website, but I fold it first so it makes the longer type of triangle. Then I fold it the opposite direction. If I was doing the newborn baby runny poop trench, I would fold in these sides and then kind of flare out the corners. And this particular fold is to catch that really runny newborn poop, but I didn't start using these with the flap wrap shells in the newborn phase. I waited till my daughter was a few months old before I started using the shells and the pads together. Or if you're not doing the newborn fold, then you would just fold it one more time into rectangles like that. Same thing with the large pad. This is a flap wrap shell. They're just a one size option and I'll be using it with a size small flap wrap pad. So first you fasten around the waist, the elastic band, and each time you do a change or a potty tuning beat, you don't need to undo this band, you just keep it on. So that's the nice thing about these. Then you take the pad and make sure it's as far up in front as it can be. I usually just roll her over in order to tuck in the back of the flat wrap. And then I make sure to pull up again the front of the pad to make sure it's really high enough on her. And usually I'll pick her up and just kind of adjust it a little bit more by tugging on it, make sure it's on her good. And then when it's time for a potty tunity, all you have to do is untuck this. I usually end up taking the pad out. I think it's designed so you could keep the pad in. I just swing her around, offer the potty tunity. And then I usually still lay her down in order to put the pad back in or switch to a clean one if that one was wet. I'll show you this time rolling this way so it's easier to see that you just tuck it in under the belt. Just like that. So another option is just to use a regular old waterproof diaper cover and some are made with polyurethane laminate to be waterproof. Some are made with TPU which is using heat to apply the plastic layer. So this one is a TPU one. This is a Grovia cover. This particular one since it has this mesh inside it probably isn't good to keep reusing it like all day long with prefolds. 
um, you might want to just use this cover once or twice before throwing the cover in the wash. Um, the type of covers that are just wipeable and lined inside with the PUL, then those you could keep reusing them over and over again. Again, you try to fold the prefold and put it in there. I'll show that on my baby as well. This is a Grovia cover. I already have the rise snaps adjusted on it. And I'm going to be using it again with a size small tri-folded pre-fold. Oh, it's got the little laundry tabs closed here. Sometimes it looks like the pre-fold is too long, but once you actually bring it up around the baby, then it ends up that it, it fits under the cover. Make sure everything's tucked in. cover on the outside. For this one I would need to lie her down if I wanted to take it off before offering the potty. And then the last option I wanted to show you isn't technically a diaper but cloth training pants and with wool shorts over is another great option. Um, I used to say that that's good to switch to once your baby is toddler stage, standing, walking, because they can just stand up and you can pull the trainers up. But actually with my second baby, I started using training pants at three months old. So as soon as you're catching most of the poops in the potty, then that's a good time to try out training pants. These are some options from Tiny Undies. This is size 12 months and this is size 18 months. These both have been washed on hot water, so they've shrunk a bit. Um, my daughter wore these when she was about three to four months old, and because she has really chubby thighs, she's actually already outgrown the size 12 months and the size 18 months in tiny trainers. And this is an Under the Nile organic cotton training pants. So I will be doing an in detail series of videos on training pants, so I just want to briefly mention those couple types. And since these are both just cotton, there's no waterproof layer in these. What I do is I layer over them wool shorts, or you could use a wool diaper cover, because once you lanolize the wool, it's waterproof. So it serves as your waterproof cover and also your clothing at the same time. This is from Truly Carries, it's wool bubble shorts. And that's a size extra small. I have a size medium wool bubble shorts from Rainy Day Woolies on Etsy. And these are just some wool shorties from Little Green Honu that were my sons, but now my daughter can wear them too. I'll show you how those work as well. Now we have cotton training pants. These are under the Nile organic cotton training pants. You can slide those on. Okay. Pull them up on the back. And then a pair of wool shorts. These ones are from Little Green Honu. I don't know if she's still making wool diaper covers anymore. Pull them up in the back. There we go. All set with her training kit and little shorts. So just to sum it up, when you're choosing cloth diapers for elimination communication, you want to keep in mind that you don't need the most absorbency. What you need is something that's really easy to use so you can frequently change the diaper so you can easily offer the potty. You can find links to the products I mentioned in the description box below. If you'd like to learn more about EC and early potty training, please subscribe and check out our EC Peasy blog.